a brilliant new album called Ignore the Ignorant. That's the Cribs. We share the same skies. Okay, it's time to get into this session. It is fans patiently waiting. The wait is over. That sounds nice. Hello. Who's that? It's Tom. How are you doing, Zane? Hey, Tom. How's it going? Good. Yeah, not bad. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Who's joining you for the chat? I, I think we might all have microphones. Whoa. What? What? I can hear phones. I know. I can hear phones. It's always a delicious sound, isn't it? That little crickle crackle of the digital technology. Mine's off. Hi, Zane. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Good. How's it going? Not bad, thanks. Not bad. Where's the, en- where's the engine room? I was referring, of course, to uh, your phenomenal rhythm section. Hello. Oh. All right. Hey, what's up, gents? How are you? Yeah, yeah, good, man. How are you? Good, Editors, welcome back. Hello, thank Hello. you. Hello. <laughs> <That's laughs> uh, Tom's, just Tom's just not here. <laughs> yeah, I've got tea in my mouth. What? Tom was there a minute ago. What happened? Reverse one set. Oh, here now. <laughs> Editors, welcome back. Hello. Hi. All right. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in Made of Val. What's going on, fellas? You had a good day? Yeah, it's been great. It's always nice to be here. Of course, of course. Um, so, what are you guys playing down the line? What, 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 what kind of instruments can we expect to hear on the session? Um, well, yeah, well, there's a bit of piano, a bit of oh. a bit, a bit of synthesizer. What there. was that? That was the Moog. On what setting? Um, I don't know. God. Oh, you guys, you've really dug deep into this whole analog synth culture, haven't you? Eh? It's analog. Just, they don't have names. It's on the setting that sounds good. Yeah, exactly. It's that one. Um, what else is in the room? Uh, Chris is uh, doing a lot of sampling today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've been hearing a bit of that. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, well, yeah, and Ed, Ed's got a whole host of uh, drum samples as well that uh, it's going to ignite your brain. Are you sitting behind said kit, Ed? Uh, I am, yeah. Do you want me to turn some on for you? I want you to turn on some of those octagon <laughs> pads that they used to, that were like, they, they, they seemed like the future back in the day. You ready? Yeah. I am from the future. <laughs> If you just put a flange on that, we're ready to go. Um, you guys having fun with this whole new setup? I mean, obviously, you know, you haven't turned your back on, on what you played on your first two albums, but no. you having fun doing doing new stuff too? It's good to mix it up. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got all the old instruments as well. It's not just you know craft work in here at the moment. <laughs> it, hopefully, it blends together. I'm mostly. sure it will. Let's find out, shall we? Let's take our first recorded session track, which you've already done. Tell us a little bit about how your version of Papillon went today. Uh, it went very well. Yeah, um, we did the album version, so it stays around. It's like six minutes long or something like that. So. Um, um, uh, yeah, it was good. Awesome. And how many takes did it take? One. Just one. Yeah. Stop lying. No, it didn't. No. Really? It did. E- what? Even with the even with the electronic drums? Yeah. Those things can be a little bit, you know. Oh, you just got to be firm with them. <laughs> <laughs> Without further ado, this is editors, the full album version of Papillon, made of our session.
like a slave to it. Twitch. Catching up with the boys and editors. Uh, we've been around the block a few times now, ever since you guys lost fresh meat way back in the day. Um, <laughs> Weren't we joint winners? Yeah. Is that what, is that what we call it nowadays? Yeah, <laughs> no, it's good. A band shouldn't win the Battle of the Bands anyway. If, uh, bands that win Battle of the Bands, you never hear from again. And who, and who won that one? That's true. I can't even remember now. <laughs> well done. <laughs> a very prepared answer delivered perfectly. Um, no, you guys have done all right for yourselves, haven't you? Eh? Uh, brand new record. We're really excited to uh, to have you guys in the down in the Madeville Studios playing songs off it in this light and on this evening. Musically, this record, it, it, we've, it's been firmly established from the first time we played Puppy on on the air and you guys made no bones about it. You're like, this isn't like, you know, um, a, a step away on the record. This is kind of the, the direction of the record. We've decided to have fun and do things differently, use synthesizers and all that kind of stuff. Um, were you already mucking around with those before you ventured into the studio? Did you already have a bank of sound? and ideas that you want to work with? Um, yeah, I, I guess um, we just, uh, we, we, we've always had synthesizers on records uh, from from the off, really, with the back room. And, uh, Ambience, brought, though, weren't they? I mean, they really were glue, glue for the tunes. They not were, so much, yeah. You know, so we front. just uh, brought them to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And who was, uh, who was the niftiest when it came to, to getting in the studio? Who seemed to understand the technology first? Blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the unofficial fifth member, but what about out of the four Ed. of you? Ed. 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 Well, Ed, I think Ed had the most to learn in terms of... Well, it seemed like you were always studying manuals. Yeah, and things I like that. too many manuals to read. So. Yeah. Are there people out there that, that you've been listening to that have been an influence for you? Um... <laughs> I've been listening to Bob Dylan loads at the moment. <laughs> okay, he's not really known for his electronic music, <laughs> yeah. but uh... I think con contemporary stuff that we definitely talked about. Uh, LCD sound system, yes. TV on the radio. I mean, they're not particularly recent records, but ones that are, we're still listening to and going back to. So. They understand how to make that kind of that stuff sound timeless. Exactly. Yeah. And, I mean, and, and the, what we were scared of in, in going in to make a record like this is that it's sounding too clinical and too perfect. And mm. so we playing it live, and I don't know. It, uh, not being perfect at what we were doing, it kind of gave it a bit more of a human quality to it. And that was really the kind of, uh, yeah. we had to make that, you know, that was what we were trying to do the most over the whole record, I think. Tell us a little bit about VCR by The XX. Now, The XX is a band, obviously, as a show, we love the band and the album, mm -hmm. um, but they also are one of those sort of fortunate bands who have made a record that's been really heavily embraced by artists of all different types. Yeah, I mean, um, just the album, I don't know, I think I heard it, I don't know, about a month ago now for the first time. Mm -hmm. And um, I just... Just I don't know. It strikes me this the minimalness of it. You know the space. Yeah, the space. The quite. But the I don't know the, the choice of sounds and the melodies. Uh, it, it's just a, a brilliantly atmospheric record that um, surprised me. Yeah. yeah, man. It's the new Max and Quay for me. It's definitely got all that energy and that space and that mood. You know that Tricky really achieved back in the day. Editors are with us today. Uh, band meeting. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just laughing about that. I <laughs> know oh, you guys always do. But then you still hire me, and I appreciate that. <laughs> um, I've back with a brand new album uh, called In This Light and On This Evening. What's in the diary? Anything exciting you want to share with us? Um, uh, aside from your own headline stuff, anything different? Yeah, no, Australia, we haven't been there very often uh, for the second time. Uh, new Year's Eve. New Year's and Eve? Over New Year's. So You'll have to go on at midnight to get some darkness at that point. Yeah, it's just going to be hot, but it's going to be nice. Um, yeah, because we haven't been there very much. Cool. And, um, um, what else have we got lined up? That's, that's my eight, really. Yeah. Um, the, the days of supporting the big bands are done. REM was kind of the cap. Uh, yeah, it's top of my list. Would you two? Would you do if you two asked you? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe you might have to have a band meeting about that. <laughs> oh, oh, what no. do you think, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to support them. <laughs> that could go either way, kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this um, this song that we're going to take from you guys right now um, that you've done. It's a cover of... I know you didn't want to do covers, and I understand that because it's important that you sort of present this record and what you're trying to achieve as a band, but I don't know, somehow we strong-armed you. So uh, tell us a little bit about the, the, the track that you're going to play that by the national uh, yeah it's soundtracked our making making of our debut record I think it was mm. uh, we were in Lincoln in the chapel and it was always on MTV um, and uh, I don't know it's just I mean it's about you know we're coming to the end of this decade and I think they're 
probably the best band of the decade, really. Wow, cool. Yeah. That's a great endorsement from you, Tom. Um, I think I think we we'll, 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 I think we all all absolutely. agree. Yeah. yeah, great endorsement, Tom. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so so how did you approach this cover? Have you done it kind of with synths in hand, or have you have you put the guitar, the old friends, back on? There's guitar on it. There's a synth on it too. There's a synth. Um, which one? Uh, it's it's my the, the big one over there in the corner. <laughs> you really got to start learning your sense, guys. You it's can't a, have it's an, an acai. You can't have an honest con- oh, don't say that. You can't have an honest <laughs> you can't have an honest conversation with David Steph from Soul Wax or Tommy DJs at any point in the festival seasons unless you know what you're talking about. All right, I'm just warning you, and I know that's where you're going with this. Okay, <laughs> all right. This is uh, this is editors covering the national in their own uh, 2009 unique way. Talking to editors right now down in Made of Our Studios doing uh, one of our, our heritage, instant vintage Made of Our sessions. Um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about Bricks and Mortar, the song on the record. What's the what? You know, where did it feature in the making of this record? Uh, it took a long time actually to figure um, out the structure. It's a long song again. It, it's one of the ones um, that was groove based, I guess, and the groove kind of dominated the song rather than the song do- dominating the groove. Uh, mm-hmm. So it, it, it kind of led its. Eventually, it, it told us how it wanted to be, and, and we just obeyed. Okay, cool. So we're ready to, 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 to have a listen to Bricks and Mortar, is that okay, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Thanks, yeah. guys. Looking forward <clears throat> to this. Cheers. Cheers. Are we good to go?
city wall Stealing pounds and pence From you all Still no one understands The way you found your God a bullet in your hands Oh, so to walk on the wounds Oh, so to walk on the wounds This hope is born was fantastic guys thank you very much that was sounded brilliant it's alive the equipment it behaved itself that's the idea <laughs> uh, you guys sound on fine form and ready for all touring ahead thanks for your time bricks Cheers, and mortar man. from editors on Radio 1